Okay, so you've been out, you've taken a lot of footage with your action camera. Now comes the time consuming part. Now you have to trawl through hours of footage just to find those highlights to put into your actual video project. Now, if you're anything like me, this can take longer than creating the actual project itself, just looking for those highlights. Now, Highlight Hunter, as we can see here, have a solution. So Highlight Hunter, as we can see from the website here at highlighthunter.com, um, goes through all of your video footage and will look for bookmarks to create your highlights. So if we scroll down from their website here, this is exactly how it works and it's as simple as this. You simply record your footage, uh, record everything, don't worry about having too much. So I simply set my GoPro on to record and leave it recording. Whether it's boring or not, I'll leave it recording. You never know when you're gonna get that great bit of footage and you really don't want to miss it. Now, this is the important part. You need to bookmark your highlights. So after you've uh, seen a section of video or recorded a section of video that you know you're definitely going to use in your project, you bookmark it by covering the camera lens. Uh, and then the actual software will create a 30 second highlight for each video. Now, at 30 seconds, you can set, uh, I think it's up to about two minutes or down to five or 10 seconds if you want to. And we'll look at that later. So let's, let's have a look at book, uh, bookmarking, sorry, and uh, find out exactly what bookmarking entails. Okay, so what is a natural bookmark and how do we create one? Now I'm using a GoPro Hero 2 here. Bear in mind you can use any camera. It doesn't matter which video camera you use. You can use a digital camera and, and put it into video mode and shoot with that if you want to. Um, a bookmark is a portion, just a one second portion that you create after a highlight. So say I've taken this out and I've recorded uh, some video of me on my bike or skiing or, or whatever. Um, there's a point where you've uh, seen, captured something you know you're definitely going to be using in your project so you want to bookmark that part of the video, simply cover, cover the lens for one second, take your hand away. It's literally one second, just cover the lens, take your hand away, that's it, bookmark created. And the software will actually look for where you've covered the lens and it will take, it will create your actual clip, your highlight from where you've bookmarked the video. So I'll show you a quick, a quick example. I've taken this out, I've recorded some test footage in my car uh, just for a short drive, nothing exciting whatsoever. It's literally just test footage to see uh, how this software works. But um, I'll show you where I've created a bookmark and uh, then we'll take a more in-depth look at the software itself and see if it can actually create our highlight clips for us. Okay, so I've inserted my SD card from my GoPro into my Mac here. So if I go into the DCIM folder, you can see here's my clip, it's two and a half gig. Um, so we'll have a look at how quickly uh, Highlights Hunter actually goes through two and a half gig and grabs my highlights. If I just go into it here, I just want to show you, um, so nothing exciting here at all but I'm sure I created a bookmark around, there we go. So you'll see that I created a bookmark at uh, the five minute point here, and this is all I've basically done, that's it. Hand over the lens, but notice how, although I covered the lens, um, I've gone back too far there, if I go, although I've covered the lens, it's not completely black, so I've not completely covered it. So it'll be interesting to see whether the actual software will pick up this bookmark, even though uh, the lens is not completely black. So it's not a proper bookmark, as it were. Um, but what we'll do, we'll open the software, and we'll uh, have a quick look at the software, and then go through this clip and drag out the highlights. Okay, so if I open the software here, so here we go, Highlight Hunter. Uh, as I said earlier, downloaded from highlighthunter.com. We're going to be looking at a single video, and you can actually browse to the DCIM folder 
and if you have a number of clips it will process all of the clips at once so you don't have to actually do them one at a time that saves a lot of time there um, you can actually get them all scanning get all your highlights out in one go um, and leave it to scan and by the time you come back to your machine a few minutes or depending on how much footage you have um, a, a little while later all your highlights will be ready to use in your project and then down here we can uh, either save the highlights in the same folder as your videos it does rename the highlights so it don't overwrite your originals or save them into a new folder I just want to go into the preferences here which is quite important so preferences at the top corner this is where you set how long your highlight is going to be so every time you cover the lens to create your bookmark you want to capture before the lens was covered how much of the footage so from five seconds up to two minutes of footage so that's how long your highlight will actually be actually be sorry um, I'm only gonna I'm going to stick it on 15 seconds just for uh, simplicity's sake um, and also I've, I know I've not really captured anything I'm only using uh, some test footage which is not very uh, exciting anyway so it's 15 seconds the bookmark detection you can set how strict you want the scanning engine to be whether you want it to be medium whether you want it to be very loose or very strict I'm going to leave it on medium and we'll see how that copes you can switch it off so it, the actual software will not scan the first 10 seconds of video so that's when people are actually setting their camera into the correct position and so on and just checking to make sure uh, it's recording um, stuff like that so you can have it ignore the first 10 seconds of the video and this last one is just to send anonymous data across to the developers of Highlight Hunter just so they can continue to improve the software so as I said I've set my duration to 15 seconds so we can close this I'm gonna select a single video because it's the only clip I have so I'm gonna go into DCIM my GoPro and select it here bear in mind it's two and a half gig so we'll see how long it takes to process two and a half gigs there so open that and it puts the path into here and I'm gonna save my video into We'll save it into my movies folder here. Open. And then we simply hit the button down the bottom to start the scan. Now by starting the scan, it will tell you down the bottom here exactly which file it's actually scanning. I've only got one scanning, so it's one of one. And it gives you a rough time, uh, a rough duration of how long it's going to take. So that two and a half gigs there is taking about around one minute which is quite good for a two and a half gig video. Now bear in mind that I've actually been through the 20 minutes of footage that I've recorded and I know that I have created nine bookmarks. So I'm expecting Highlight Hunter to create nine 15 minute highlight clips. Um, so it should create nine. Um, as we saw my bookmarks weren't perfect uh, didn't completely black out the video so hopefully we will still get all nine highlights um, if not I can obviously uh, increase the sensitivity and uh, try again but hopefully this should give us nine highlights so less than one minute left we're almost there so we'll just let this complete and we're almost there so it should be creating my highlight clips and putting them into the, the folder I suggested and we're done so now it's saving my clips into my folder brilliant it's found all nine highlights so all of the nine bookmarks I had created in that 20 minute clip have been recognized even though they didn't completely black out the footage if I go to view highlights it opens the actual folder I placed them into if we look at the actual file name here, we can say, see the actual original file name. Uh, it's a highlight and the time frame it's recorded from and to. So that's quite um, that's quite useful in organising your video, so you're you know they're in the correct order and so on. So if I 
click on let's say one of these videos it should start the highlight running we can see here it's 15 seconds if I just turn the volume down we can see here it's it was 15 seconds and it should end where I was creating the bookmark so we're almost there and that's where I created the bookmark and that's where the video ends so brilliant it's worked it saved me a hell of a lot of time going through that uh, two and a half gigs worth of footage to create my highlights and I can see this create uh, saving me a lot of time in the future uh, when it comes to creating the or finding the highlights from my footage so there we go that's highlight hunter and that's available as I said earlier on over at www.highlighthunter.com I know they do offer a, a trial version uh, which lets you I'm not sure what the trial version does where I think the trial version watermarks your highlights but you can make sure it actually works for you before you actually go ahead and purchase and activate the software but there you go head across to www.highlighthunter.com and uh, save yourself a hell of a lot of time when looking for those highlights